Messieurs, bien, bienvenue à, à notre web diffusion. On a le privilège, je dirais, d'avoir quelqu'un que tout le monde aime au Parti libéral du Canada, quelqu'un qui a fait beaucoup pour le Parti libéral du Canada, M. Mike Crowley. Mike, uh, tell us a bit who you are and what you do. So, I, I'm, as you said, I'm the president of the party, je suis le président du parti. Uh, I've worked uh, the last two years as, as president with a great board, and uh, it's been an incredible period, right? So, I mean, yeah. a period of, of tremendous change within the party. And when you look at where we were two years ago when we gathered last yeah. in Ottawa and where we are today, uh, the changes have been tremendous. I think all liberals here, both watching and also at the convention today, should be very proud of everything that's been accomplished over the last two years. So yeah. I, I want to ask you, I, I, we were able to work together during the leadership process, right. and what was that like for you? Well, the, I mean, the, the, one of the, the, the important things for me was to make sure that we had a real leadership contest. And, and secondly, the, the decision that was made in Ottawa was to have a very open contest as well. So uh, there was some pressure, some uh, voices calling for a quick leadership contest to get a permanent leader in there quickly. And uh, the board felt very strongly, and I certainly felt very strongly, that we needed to take the time necessary to get the candidates out there to see who would be the best leader to take us into the next election. And, uh, and to run a process that, that, that was truly the most open, inclusive leadership selection process that a federal party has ever done in Canada. Now tell us about what we want to accomplish this weekend. I know it, the words that you use is creating a bold and cohesive political organization. So what do you mean by that? So, uh, number one, what we've done is we, we've focused the PTAs, the provincial associations, very much on, on field work and getting them to work seamlessly with the national parties. So you don't have several different uh, entities kind of running off in all different directions that you've got one cohesive party that is moving forward with a single plan together but respecting that there's differences regional differences and that the PTAs are there to uh, uh, to, to protect those and how is this biennial gonna help that process well this biennial brings us together at a key point right when we've uh, over the last year year and a half hired field workers just about all the way across the country and we've got field workers in provinces now where we never had field workers, I think, before. Wow. <laughs> and so it's a, it's a tremendous organizational change. We're really turning this in, the party, from uh, what had been a bit of an administrative body, truthfully, into a, a forceful political machine. Well, it's been an amazing journey. I mean, when I look at the, uh, the Liberal Party journey under your leadership, that has been amazing. What do you think have been the highlights? And the Madame, Mr. Crowley, uh, tout, tout ce qu'on a fait au niveau du Parti libéral du Canada dans les dernières années, c'est assez impressionnant. Et ce que je voulais lui demander, c'est quoi les moments forts? Qu'est-ce qu'on a fait pour transformer le Parti libéral du Canada sous votre leadership? Bon, premièrement, le, le process, euh, processus de, de sélectionner le, le leader, oui. c'était le, le, le processus, comme, comme j'ai dit, le plus ouvert, le plus inclusif oui. euh, jamais, per période, pour euh, le, le Parti libéral, pour, pour euh, tous les partis fédéraux euh, au Canada. Oui. Deuxièmement, le, 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 la réorganisation du parti euh, était très, très important. We've taken the party, which, which to some extent, like I was saying, was, was a bit more of an administrative body, and vrai. turned it into a political machine with, with people on the ground, sur le terrain, uh, organizing across the country, riding by riding, and that, uh, that was a very important change. And finally, the, the fundraising uh, operation of the party has been fundamentally changed, and there's more changes to come. And you look sure. at the results last year, best f no. fundraising year ever in a non-election year, best December ever, best quarter ever, <laughs> and uh, there's a lot more to come. What are you most proud of? You've, you had a lot of success. When I look at the numbers, we showed the infographic yesterday with the Director General and Michel Archambault, uh, with Jeremy Broders. What are you most proud of your accomplishment? I mean, this has been, you've been there at a key moment of history for the Liberal Party of Canada. What are you most proud of? I think, well, I, I mean, I'm most proud of, of, of what the board did collectively, which was, and, and the party did collectively, that there, there you got to remember, there were calls for uh, the party to merge with the NDP two years ago. There were people saying it was going to disappear. And when you're faced with that kind of adversity, coming off our worst electoral defeat ever, you can either do one of three things. You can either run away from it, you can settle for something less and accept that the party will be something less, or you can have the courage to change and to try and build something better than before. And that's what we decided to do collectively. And that's what I'm most proud of. Now, you heard the leader's speech last night. Yes. What messages do you take from that or that you want uh, the public to take from that? 
Well, I think the, uh, the, the key message that I took from the leader's speech last night is, is that we're going to be moving forward with a positive message focused on the middle class, how we can make people's lives better, and that is how Liberals win, and that's how, uh, what we're going to bring forward in the next election. He did speak about the negativity that tends totally. to uh, occur in politics, and so it was interesting to hear him speak about that. How important is that? Does that resonate for people? What happens with it, when you, when you get this kind of negative environment is, is you end up getting this race to the bottom where everybody sure. tries to tear everybody sure. else down yeah. and people start that disengaging right. from politics, right? And, and the, 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 the most impressive thing I'd say about uh, Justin is his relentless focus on taking the high ground and being positive. And people have said before in politics that's not possible, you can't win that way. Uh, and I think Justin's showing you and will show us that that is possible. That's impressive. Il um, y a beaucoup d'auditeurs qui nous regardent aujourd'hui à travers le Canada. On a des milliers d'auditeurs avec nous, on le voit sur les plateformes sociales. Les gens à la maison se demandent probablement, écoutez, là j'ai la chance de parler au président du Parti mm -hmm. libéral du Canada. Qu'est-ce que les gens à la maison peuvent faire? Qu'on qu soit en Nouvelle-Écosse, au Nouveau-Brunswick, au Québec, au Manitoba, en Saskatchewan, il y a certainement des gens dans nos territoires, au Nunavut, qui nous regardent et se disent, Écoutez, moi j'ai l'envie, moi je vous écoute, ça me stimule, moi je vais embarquer. Qu'est-ce que les gens à la maison peuvent faire pour s'impliquer au niveau du Parti libéral du Canada? Premièrement, il, il faut euh, euh, être impliqué, il euh, faut devenir impliqué dans, dans, dans leur euh, comté, dans cette circonscription. Euh, ça, c'est le, le, le niveau le plus important. Euh, deuxièmement, euh, nous avons eu de, de, du succès. Euh, en ramassant des, des fonds, mais il y a beaucoup de... Euh, nous, 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 euh, much more that we need ouais, to do. Il y a encore plus à faire, plus à sûr. faire. I mean, we had, we had our best non-election year ever, like we vrai, said. C'est vrai, c'est vrai. But at the same time, you got to remember, the Conservatives raised 18 million. We raised just under 12 million last million. year. And they've been raising that much money every year for the last several years. So the, the, the focus is going to be on making sure that certainly that we can fund the campaign and that we get outspent less during the pre-election period. So it's still an uphill battle from, the, from a funding standpoint. So any focus that they can put into getting involved at the riding level and organizing at the riding level, and secondly, either contributing themselves or reaching out to other donors to, to contribute to the party would be very important. Ce que M. Crowley nous disait finalement, c'est que, évidemment, la, la première façon de s'impliquer, c'est dans notre propre circonscription, peu importe où on soit au Canada. Ensuite de ça, il y a tout l'élément du financement dont on a parlé hier avec Christina. Christina qui nous a donné euh, euh, des progrès. On a quasiment ramassé le 250 000. Hier soir, on était à 233, je pense, quand on a terminé notre émission. J'espère que ce matin, on aura des bonnes nouvelles. Et vous disiez aussi au niveau du programme, parce qu'ici, cette semaine ou durant le week-end, c'est de bâtir l'équipe, c'est de bâtir le plan. Donc, les gens à la maison aussi ont une chance, en hein, Bernadette, de participer. Durant les trois prochains jours, on va prendre de nos auditeurs leurs commentaires et on va essayer de les ramener dans les sessions plénières. Donc, euh, c'est une façon de s'impliquer. Bernadette? Mm -hmm. The party is going to be doing a lot of listening during this weekend. So, are, what are you going to be hearing? You know, what do you want to hear? What are there any policy resolutions that you're particularly interested in? Well, for sure. I mean, there, I think there's going to be around 140. There's been some merging of resolutions. There's going to be around 140 resolutions that come forward over the weekend. So, I'm going to be listening to all of them. I'm curious to see kind of how the debate goes and what the the views of the party, where the party's at on on those resolutions. Uh, but I'm also interested to hear where what's going on organizationally at the riding level, what's going on with some of the nomination contests uh, across the country. I mean, there's some very competitive nomination races in ridings where the, the party hasn't been competitive in a generation, <laughs> right? It's a good so news. Yes. It's great good news. news. It's great news. news. So I want to hear more about that, what's going so on. And how are you going to be doing that? So what's your role throughout the so I'm convention? So I'm, okay. going, I'm heading over after this to the opening ceremonies, and uh, we'll uh, give a bit of an update on where the party's at at the opening ceremonies. And then the rest of the weekend, I'm going to be circulating and talking to as many delegates as I can. Well, we're going to be covering the opening ceremonies yeah. very soon, so thank you for mentioning that. Uh -huh. And I want to thank you for your very effective leadership. It's been, uh, it's been an incredible period of time, and it must have been very exciting for you to, to lead the party during this period of growth and rejuvenation. Well, Bernard, I ver thank you very much. And I also want to thank you for the work that you did during the leadership contest as the moderator, because that, those debates, <laughs> you watched some of them, they were, they were excellent debates, and that really reinvigorated the party. And I think uh, uh, Justin would say that the, uh, the, the debates and the, uh, uh, the questions and so on and the 
the cut and thrust of it uh, certainly helped him too. It was a lot of fun. It was, um, you know, I think your goal in having a very inclusive and open process was, uh, was realized. And uh, I know that um, Liberals everywhere were very pleased with that process and the way to participate, sure. the supporter class, all of the things that went into that leadership process were really good. So let thank you for whatever you. role you played in that. Oh. No, let, let me ask you a personal question before we, we finish. I'm sure the audience is really curious. How did you get involved? How does someone sitting at home today thinking about becoming president of the Liberal Party of Canada. Tell us about your journey. I'm sure there's people who wonder, how does Mike Crawley, how do you get to get involved and finally become president? Tell us a bit about your own personal journey from when you got started in the Liberal Party to becoming a great leader of the party. Well, you know, I, I first got involved when I was, I think, 15 years old or so, right? And it was right after the uh, election defeat in 1984, which at that wow. point, was our worst Still defeat young. ever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but at that point, it was our worst defeat yeah. ever, right? Sure. And, and the party was in, in the same, very similar situation, kind of, would it continue? Would it be surpassed by the NDP? Where was it going to go? Was it still relevant? And, and that's what got me to get involved. I was interested in politics, and I said, well, now's the time to really get involved. Now's the time that I can make a difference. So I, uh, uh, I, I look at it all, and I got more involved in, 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 the, in university politics, and I got more involved... Uh, uh, after that, uh, when I entered the workforce, and still, still was a was a volunteer with the party. But there's a there's a certain satisfaction in, in coming full circle and uh, having been able to uh, participate in the rebuilding of the party uh, after 2011 and seeing where it is today. Well, certainly now everyone has the blueprint how you become president and how you become a great leader of the Liberal Party of Canada. So with that, we're going to thank you and. Yeah, the next one will, will be online with us as well. So, listen, thank you for your time. We'll see you again, Bernadette. C'est un plaisir de vous avoir avec nous ce matin. On espère vous revoir. La tribune est ouverte.